Evaluating websites. Currency is the information up to date. When was it produced? Are there dead links on the page? Is there outdated information on the page? Relevance is the information important to you. How in depth is the information covered? Accuracy is the information correct. Are there spelling and grammar problems on the page? Is the author's contact information listed? Is there a work cited? Authority How does the author know what he's talking about? Who is the author? Is he or she an expert on the topic? Is there a sponsoring organization for the page? Objectivity Is the viewpoint of this page balanced? Is there advertising on the page? Who was this page written for? And is it a reflection of a variety of viewpoints or only one? Let's look at some examples of some websites. We'll start with .com. Notice the URL. It doesn't really tell you anything about the page, but the first thing you see is a big advertisement. And when you scroll down, you see more advertisements. When you click About Us, you don't get any author information, just more links to buy products. This is an example of looking at objective and authority. You may think that .orgs are always okay to use, but this isn't always true. This page is a .org, but it actually looks like a paid advertising, a way to link you to online schools. Not only that, there are dead links on this page, and there's no author info. This is an example of looking for accuracy, authority, and objectivity. Usually, .edu's are fine to use, but look out because a lot of .edu's are actually personal web pages for students, faculty, and staff. This page is an example of a personal web page. The personal information you find on this page might not be appropriate for your research. .govs are actually the most reliable pages on the web. At the top, you see who actually produces this page, the Department of Labor. You can also see up-to-date, in-depth information and a lot of statistical data that you can only get from this page. You will also notice that there are no ads on the page and you can link to the contact information. Out of the four websites we looked at, we found only one that passes our criteria. The process of evaluating websites can be overwhelming and confusing. How can you save yourself from all this trouble? By using the LRC's databases, unlike Google Scholar, the databases provide Adnan Tuck students, staff, and faculty with free access to full text articles. The information is always reliable, up-to-date, and will always be accepted by your instructors. Need more help? Ask a librarian in the LRC, or you can call us at 860-253-3170 and email us at as-lrcref at acc.comnet.edu.